Well, good day. I've just been cleaning out fish tanks and stuff and putting filters back together, rinsing out charcoal and so forth. And I thought I'd try and make a bit of a rant while I'm reasonably sober for a change. Um, it doesn't seem to flow as well when I'm not drunk, so I did crack one open just for this occasion. One of my awesome temple bottles. <laughs> um, so what I wanted to discuss, been meaning to discuss for some time, is the moon. Now I think the moon is one of the biggest anomalies out there. In fact, while I was cleaning out my fish tank, I fished this out of it. That's um, a rock I once found, and it is virtually perfectly egg-shaped. It's got a bit of algae on it, and some of the imperfect places. So it's not perfectly, perfectly egg-shaped, but it's about as close as you can get for a naturally occurring rock, which I just found by the side of the road. It's got a couple of chips in it. It actually reminds me a lot of the moon when you get the right light through it. It's a little bit opaque. And I don't know, it's, it makes me think of the moon. Now the moon, obviously it's not a big egg because we've seen pictures of it. We can look at the moon with our own eyes. We can take use binoculars, telescopes, zoom lenses, moon zoom room. On Facebook is one of the pages I'm a member of. And there's a few different theories out there discussing the moon. I'll discuss one of them here. I'll just use this as a prop. Big silver shiny moon. Now one theory is that the moon is just a half sort of shape. So as it turns around, that's where you get the, the dark side of the moon. To the point then you've got half the moon. And as it goes right around, it's dark on this side. So it gets smaller and smaller till it's a new moon and then as it keeps spinning around and it starts waxing again yeah I don't know about that one it's a theory another one that um, they come up with is that it's uh, I don't know if I've got a lemon here it's not pear shaped it's a lemon shaped <laughs> Earth is pear shaped. Um, is that it's a giant helium type field death star floating around above the inside the firmament in our atmosphere, way up high, and that there's a little star nearby it, some kind of spaceship maybe, that's projecting the light onto it. That's another theory. I don't know about that. Another one I've sort of thought about is. I don't have any string here, so it's not going to be easy to do it. But let's assume that that's, that's it there. Well, the moon could actually be on a pendulum. Yeah, it's really, really big and it spins, rotates around the earth that way. It takes about 25 hours to do a rotation. Now, if you thought about that, it's a very difficult concept, even for you globers. If the earth is a globe, and it's spinning on its axis. Let's see, I've got a... Oh, this is a bad old apple. It's an old mother earth, this one. So if the earth is spinning on its axis, tilted at 66.6 .6 degrees, and the moon is going around us, well, it's actually going slightly backwards, isn't it? It looks as though it's going east to west like the sun, but that's caused by the earth spinning. So the moon is actually slowly going backwards, 25 hours. It's really hard to grasp the concept of it, really. You know, we take it for granted that the sun rises and sets, the moon rises and sets. But it's all an illusion caused by the spin of the globe on the globe Earth. On the flat Earth, it's, um, well, <laughs> that doesn't represent the Earth very well at all. I've got this other thing over here. This might sort of help demonstrate slightly. 
it's got a bit of liquid in there. It's um, some magnesium chloride. It's a type of salt and it soaked up the water from the atmosphere. I just put this salt in there. In fact, I'll show you that spirit product. I'm going to use it shortly in one of my recipes. This is in here. Big shout out to these guys. Bath salts. Mag Ultra pure magnesium sauce. And it is magnesium chloride. So it's just a salt. It's a very salty salt. You put a little bit on your tongue. A bit of um, burns a bit. Very good for you because you need magnesium if you're getting muscle cramps or anything. Magnesium is ultimate. And I use it in my toothpaste actually. I use a jar about. I save my salsa jars. Oh, where'd I put it? Oh, I've got salsa jars. And I mix, I put it, fill out about three quarters with coconut oil. Put a good tablespoon or two of this in it. A tablespoon of turmeric. Um, some drops of. Um, clove oil. Cloves are really good for pain relief and antiseptic and and then a bit of baking soda and then it will froth up a little bit and you put the sodium bicarbonate in it. It makes it sort of set into a bit of a mousse sort of thing and then I put it on a little heat pad, like a little reptile heat pad, just a one water in the bathroom. Now I've got a spoon in there, I just get a bit out munch it around my teeth before I get the electric toothbrush on it. So there's a handy recipe for you. So yeah, the idea is with the flat earth, I don't know if you can see it all that well. I'm using my fruit bowl to prop the camera up. Hmm. That might work. Okay, so this is the flat earth, right? Oranges do not make good camera stands. Okay, so we're in a disc world. This represents the globe. This here makes music. Um, so the Earth, as we know it, is like a floating landmass within this flat ocean, surrounded by Antarctica enclosed in a dome to keep its atmosphere because you can't have an atmosphere in a vacuum without an enclosed so just imagine it closes right over the top there and so as it's generally spinning gives you the concept then of how we get tides now if the moon was hanging on a pendulum in there somehow swinging around with it it would give it the appearance that whatever motion is causing the the moon to rock and the tides to rise and fall it's the same it's caused by the same functional some same um, you know I don't have to think of every word for you <laughs> so um, yeah that explains how we get tides and why it seems to coincide with the moon and so they think that maybe it's the moon's gravity causing it because they make up this gravity to explain everything like water sticking upside down on a ball. I've only got a minute left to go, so I better sum this up. So that's one idea I've come up with how we've got a moon. I hope it helps in the overall puzzle that we can sort out exactly what this moon is, whether it is a Death Star where our creators watch over us and this is some sort of Truman show and we've got to crack the code with all the Truman. Anyway, take care and I'll talk to you next time.